Today, we decrust Pooper Trooper's cooling system. Been waiting my whole life to say that. Welcome back to the Auto Obsessor Garage. Chadwick with you again for another installment of Project Pooper Trooper. That is our 1988 Isuzu Trooper. On today's episode, guys, we're gonna address that cooling system that's full of crust, just gnarly looking. Remember when we did the inspection of the vehicle, we popped that radiator cap and it was just tons of rust material, some debris floating around in there and a brownish color. So we have to address that. That can lead to overheating issues. That can cause things like water pumps to get jammed up with rust, thermostats, heater cores, radiators. You get where I'm going. It's not a good situation. So we're gonna flush it out. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that with this truck. So let's get in the garage and get a little dirty. Now that we have a nice clean engine bay, let's get it a little dirty by flushing this coolant out. So if you guys remember, underneath this radiator cap is something not too great. Lots of crust, rust, just debris. Now that's not like your traditional milkshake-y. You know, if you see brown in your coolant, people freak out. Oh, my head gasket's gone. But when it's crusty like that, it's rust. It could be in the heater core. It could be anywhere on the cooling system, usually the radiator also. But we're gonna do a really intense flush and get that running clear again. Let me show you what I'm gonna use. When regular flushes just aren't enough, this Thermacure, made by the folks at CRC, really works. It really attacks that rust. But what we gotta do before we can even use it is obviously drain the system, do a full heat cycle or two with regular water in there, distilled water, drain that out, and then run this through. And we'll run this for a while, I'll probably drive the truck for a while, just to really let it get everywhere. Heat blasting, everything on, and we're gonna flush out this cooling system. We're underneath the undercarriage now of the Isuzu Trooper, and it's much cleaner under here. It's a pretty good cleaning. It's a truck, so I didn't go too hard. Ah, wonderful visibility. Let me get a light going here. You can see the lower radiator hose right there coming into frame, and that's what we're going to disconnect. We're going to disconnect on the engine side and let all the coolant drain out. Let's go ahead and do that now. All right, and the goal, of course, is not to wear any of the coolant. Oh, gross. There we go. Woo! Oh my god, it's just water. It's freaking water. Well, that would be why we see rust. A little interesting that it was mostly water that came out that would lead definitely to that rust situation. So, next step before we can run the de-rust liquid through the system, we're gonna go ahead and just, I'm gonna do a hose flush of the radiator because that's where a lot of rust and contamination tends to collect on these older vehicles. See what we can just dislodge by running the hose through. Then we'll reconnect our lower hose for the radiator that we disconnected and top the system up with fresh distilled water. At that point, we're gonna go ahead and run it through one or two heat cycles. Make sure it goes through everything, through the heater core, we'll turn the heat on full blast, all that good stuff. And once that's done that, we're gonna let it cool, and then we're gonna drain that out. And then we can run our de-ruster through the system. So we gotta do a little bit of a coolant flush before with just water, but that allows this system to be as clean as it can be while that rust removing agent goes through it. So let's go ahead and just hose clean out this radiator. Let's go ahead and flush this radiator out. Yep, brown and crusty. So I'm gonna run some, just straight out of the hose water, fill this thing up, heat cycle it, it's not gonna sit, just gonna let it cool and then I'm gonna drain it. We'll be able to run our Thermocure Evapo Rest right after that. So let's reattach that hose and fill up the system. The color of this water just coming out of flushing the radiator. Yep, that's pretty disgusting. So, 
We're gonna keep doing that until that runs pretty clear and then we're gonna go ahead and fill the system with water and run it to operating temp. But boy, a little bit of nasty material down that radiator. Now I want to show you guys this too in case you're wondering if it's head gasket or oil or whatnot. Clearly we have tons of rust particles inside our coolant that's getting flushed out. Yeah, it's not good. At this point, it's hard to say. Uh, do you swap the radiator out or do we continue flushing? I'm gonna keep flushing and hope this is just old material and our rust inhibitor and all our other flushes get that radiator clear enough so it doesn't keep just fouling up the coolant. But yeah, you get these little chunks of rust. That's how you know. And we're gonna go ahead and add our bottle of Thermocure at this time. We're gonna put the rest in distilled water. We're gonna run that probably for a good week or so and then we'll drain it out, do a few flushes, fill it up with regular coolant and we should have a much cleaner coolant system. So let's go ahead and add our product. Now before I go back to driving this thing, you know we need to burp the cooling system for sure. So what we're gonna do is run this up to operating temp, let it idle there for a while, add water as necessary, and when it's ready, we'll be good to go. All right, let's see how good this stuff works. I haven't used it for a while, so we'll see if it clears it up. Now I just started up the trooper. I'm gonna let this thing idle for a while until it comes up to operating temp probably hang out there five to ten minutes and then I'm gonna make sure the system's perk and then we'll be good to drive around for about a week or two to let that rust dissolve or go through the system. It's been about a week since we added the Thermocure, driven about 150 miles. It's time to drain the system out. Now remember it's just Thermocure and water so we shouldn't have anything else coming out except for the you know, rust and everything else that might have dissolved. Also remember that we did do that whole entire coolant system flush with just water before we put the Thermocure in. So I'm kind of curious to see how this comes out. Let's go ahead and drain this coolant and Thermocure. Time to pop this radiator hose off. Remember to allow your system to cool down before attempting this. Mine should be pretty cool. Could get a pretty warm shower if you don't follow that little rule. Oh my god, it's like disgusting looking. <laughs> Holy crap. It's literally the color of black licorice with a hint of green coming out. Absolutely wild. Remember, this is just Thermocure mixed with water. And look at the color. How nasty was our cooling system? It's really dark, dark green. Okay, we're gonna let that continue to drain all the way out. And then we're gonna flush the system with hose water. Just do the radiator while we have the hose disconnected. And then we'll go ahead, seal that hose back up, do a couple heat cycles with just water, and then we'll do our coolant. But man, it looks like this stuff did some work. Just to get a better look at the color here. Look at that, guys. That's just water and Thermocure. It's completely blackish, hint of green again. Yikes. Oh, we had a feeling that system was pretty crusty. Let's flush this radiator out with some good old water from the hose coming from our well. We're gonna keep doing this until it runs clear, then we'll know our radiator's pretty clean for the most part. We'll go ahead and reattach that hose and then top the system up with water again. Well, let's keep flushing this radiator. Okay, that's just what we flushed out of the radiator with the hose water. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what this looks like. Yeah, that is uh, not very pleasant. And it also makes me think we're gonna be flushing this trooper out the entire cooling system with probably quite a bit of water, guys, because we need this to be clear before we even think about putting 50-50 mixture in there. And this is just the radiator, guys, not to mention the heater core and the rest of the cooling system. So let's do another just the radiator flush, actually. I want to make sure that's running clear. After flushing the radiator, you can see the water is getting quite a bit clearer there coming out, and that's a fantastic sign. 
Now we just need to do that to the entire cooling system. Here's our second helping of just the radiator being flushed out. You saw it ran clear at the end, but just to be clear, uh, yeah, obviously much more transparent, but still not perfect, but it was running clear at the end. So I think we're time to flush this system with water. Uh, I'm guessing two to three times minimum. Time to top our cooling system off. Obviously we've hooked up the hose underneath so we're not just leaking out. We're gonna fill it all the way up. We're gonna burp the system while the car idles and comes up to temperature, just to make sure we get all the air out. Then we're gonna run it for probably another two to three heat cycles and then drain it and see where we're at. When you're filling the cooling system, there's a good chance the overflow reservoir here is gonna overfill too. You can see this one's topped all the way off of the water. It's just because we're filling so fast, it's going down this hose and filling up that reservoir tank. So that's a good point that we bring it up now because when we do add the 50-50 coolant at the very end of this operation, we are gonna have to remove this. It just slides right out of its holder there. And we'll top that up to the appropriate line with the 50-50 coolant mixture. Just started the vehicle, you're gonna let it idle up to temp. Keep checking on your coolant level, add coolant as necessary, just keep topping off the funnel there. After all the bubbles stop, you can go ahead and put the radiator cap back on and heat cycle it as you normally would. That should clean out everything left in the system. Then we'll drain the water and see where we're at. You'll see the big bubbles coming up and that's what we need to clear out of the system before we know it's fully burnt. Of course, there we go, right on command. So let's keep doing that until no more bubbles come up and we reach operating temp. Cut the vehicle off after reaching operating temperature and holding there for a little while. We're gonna go ahead and obviously let it cool down and then we're gonna drain that water out. Remember, it's just water, but I have a feeling it's gonna be extremely dirty and still have residual rust, crust, and some of the cleaning chemical, the thermo cure that we had in the system. So let's give it about an hour or so before it's safe to drain. And we'll go ahead and drain and see what we have. Here's our first flush of just water. And it is pretty gnarly looking, guys. Oh yeah, look at that. We're gonna be doing this for quite a while. I've got this, just got this feeling. Yeah, pretty gnarly still, really nasty. Again, this is just water, guys. Look at it. All right. Time to do another water flush. And that's pretty good, guys. I don't think I'm gonna get too much cleaner than that from an old system like that. But this is the fourth full water flush after using the Thermocure. So it took a long time to get here. I did about two heat cycles for each one after the first. So the you know water stayed in there a little longer, cleaned up a little better, but here we go. That's pretty damn clean water to be coming out of a cooling system this old. So we're gonna go with it. With everything drained out of the system, it is finally time to add our 50-50 mixture of coolant, your coolant of choice. Go ahead and top the system off. We are gonna go ahead and burp the system. So keep this funnel in there. And as the truck comes up to temperature, we're gonna have bubbles coming up. Gonna go until there's no more bubbles, do a couple heat cycles, and we're good. With that system burped and full of delicious, actual 50-50 coolant, we have cleaned up our cooling system, guys, in the Isuzu Trooper. Good stuff. All right, as always, take care, and we'll catch you on the next one.